What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. We're back with some more LEGO City Undercover. If you've been watching day to day, you've probably noticed there's been a little bit of a dip in our videos, but we're back with Paradise Sands Free Roam. We're going to get a handful of collectibles, including all those character and vehicle tokens, gold bricks, and that pesky red brick, which is kind of a funny one, but uh, we uh, wanted to bring something to your attention first. You're probably wondering, like, what in the heck are you doing Paradise Sands first? You skipped Fresco. Well, as it turns out... We actually have to complete a super brick build inside Paradise Sands before we can complete the fresco area. So rather than complete it, or not complete it, I guess, uh, we're going to go ahead and do San Paradise Sands first. But hey, before moving too far along, make sure that you have the red brick turned on for unlimited dynamite and, of course, the super color gun red brick as well. Because if you have both of those, it's going to save you a tremendous amount of time trying to find the color gun swappers and the dynamite. So, as you probably saw me uh, scan over Fresco there, we, uh, we're we going to go ahead and skip that for now. We're going to target kind of the central area of Paradise Sands. And as it turns out, there is a pig that needs rescuing. And the only way to get there is through a helicopter. So, seeing as we have not completed Fresco yet and unlocked all the super brick builds and things like that, we're going to go ahead and start right off from the very beginning where we always spawn from and get on the chopper. That's right, get to the chopper. And we're going to go ahead and fly all the way over to that Paradise Sands lands where there's a huge carnival on the beach and all sorts of fun stuff for you and me. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and choose a chopper. It looks like we got the swooper, and because Reese was sitting right next to me, he asked me if I'd color it blue, and I did. So, we've got ourselves a blue chopper. We're going to hop out in, and guess what? We're going to take a nice long flight all the way out there. But this is actually part of the Pig's Return Gold Brick, which is one of the items. Now, one thing I didn't mention in the original screen there when we were looking at the area totals... Um, is that we actually have uh, uh, one of the super brick builds completed in Paradise Sands, and that one is that was ha that happened in our uh, story mode. That uh, was one of the things that we actually had to do. So as long as you have completed the story mode, uh, there's going to be one super brick build that's already completed that also came with a uh, character, no vehicle token as well as a gold brick. That's right. So. Uh, we've got one of the, I believe, 43 items. Talk about Quick Link List. Go down in the video description and look down below. Uh, if you're not familiar with our Quick Links, we actually have links down there that'll get you to all of the individual items. So let's say you're just missing, um, you know, maybe a Super Brick build, or maybe you don't know where the train station's at. Whatever the case may be, we've got links down below that should help you get to where you need to get quicker and easier than ever. Now, all right, we're flying right over the Fresco City area here, and there's the, uh, what is it, the Forcellini Tower? Isn't that what it's called? Or Fusellini? Something like that. We, we got a trophy for that for sliding all the way down it, but we have not completed that area yet. Now, there is a helipad right below me, as you saw there. There's a little apartment complex that we actually had to deal with in the story mode as well, and that, I believe, is the Super Brick build that we've already completed. Don't don't quote me on that, because I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no, I take that back. It's right here. This is the one. It's the crash mat. It's the crash pad mat. So we already completed this in story mode, and we're going to go ahead and plummet to our doom. And look at that. We've got the bullseye right in the middle there. And guess what? It's oink, oink time. We're going to go ahead and rescue this pig. And, of course, it's almost time for another episode of Pigs in Space. Good thing. He's got some. Look at this leg power. You'd think that his legs would just cripple right below him, but no such luck. We got what we need, and there's a green bouncing aerial telling us where we need to go, and we'll go ahead and follow that as we plow over a whole bunch of innocent bystanders along the way. But there's our cannon. Go ahead and plug him in and twist the handle and watch him take off. So here we go. All right, come on, man, come on. We'll stuff him on in there. That's right. And I gotta switch on over to the farmer though in order to make this happen. And that's right, pigs in space officially complete. And we've got that uh, pig returned as well as the gold brick for it. So pretty, pretty sweet stuff. Now, uh, moving along here, we're actually going to double back towards the bottom right-hand area here. And at the bottom southeast, if you're looking at your map, that is. And you can see here, we're in the bottom right-hand corner. We're going to kind of zig and zag our way around. As you can see here, we're going to go up the beach all the way on the east, kind of double back. And then we're going to finish off the area by doing all of the central building climbing. There's a whole bunch of rooftops we have to jump across, but we'll get to that in a minute. Now, this right here is actually the super brick build that we needed to complete in order to unlock that time 
time trial in Fresco. So we are officially good to go now to go back to Fresco, but we figured why skip all the rest of the stuff? We're gonna go ahead and collect the ice fisherman, get our gold brick, and we're gonna keep on keeping on for this particular area, which guess what? Happens to be a time trial. Now, don't get it confused. This is the time trial right here. They're showing us the, the ice cream truck has now officially appeared on the docks there, and we can go back and actually use or utilize that mission and go ahead and uh, what is it? Tick tock clock, something, something like that, some sort of time trial. But uh, all right, so the next time trial, this one is part of Paradise Sands. We're gonna go ahead and go get wet a little bit. Actually, we're gonna use our jetpack to successfully land. Nope, it's like we got wet. All right, so TikTok trial, that's what it is. And we'll go ahead and accept that. And this is just a simple process. You gotta make it through all of the beacons here within the allotted time. Now, each time you go through one of those halos, it actually gives you five more seconds. So as long as you got a good momentum going, you shouldn't have any problems. So we're gonna go ahead and get our jet ski on. Look at this, I'm doing a little sand driving. Mean, that's right, I'm a landlubber, you guys. But it uh, turns out I only had to do this one once. However, there were a couple of events that I actually had to do more than once in this area, like the vehicle robbers. Boy, the vehicle robbers arrested, that is. Man, I messed that one up. And there's kind of a weird situation that happens on this one, too. If you notice, it's time trial, which should only get us a vehicle token and a gold brick. But it just so happens that when we finish this race... We actually fly through this huge, well, you can see it right in front of us here. There's a big roller coaster. We're going to fly through part of that, and there happens to be a character token floating in there. Now, it's my understanding that you have to actually build another super brick build before that character token will pop up, but I haven't built that yet, and I get the character token unsuspectedly right here. Unexpected, unsuspect, whatever. You know what I'm trying to say. So, all right, we're coming around for the final jump here, and once we line up, we're supposed to go right through that hoop in the middle there, but watch this. I get all crazy slam into it, and I, I stick it right on the roller coaster tracks, but as you can see, I get the crazy scientist character token. I also complete the time trial. I also get the vehicle token for the Galeon, Gal Gal Galeon, and we get our infamous gold brick. So... All that being said, uh, we're going to show you later how to do the super brick build and where in order to what you got to do in order to get that other character token as well. So simply you just have to ride the Orion's, what is it, Orion's rockets, Orion's belt, something like that. But uh, all right, this next one is a little tricky and oh no, psych, we actually have a couple of other things first. There's one coming up on the beach that I did my homework on, but but the information that I thought I knew was incorrect, so I kind of struggled for a minute. But we'll get to that in a hot second. We're actually gonna double back and go right onto the edge of the sidewalk here where we find this blue box, smash and rebuild, and guess what? Disguise booth! You can go ahead and get your change on now and look like any of the characters you have unlocked. That's right, in fact, we also get another character, the Coast Guard. So uh, yeah, we've got some, some more character tokens added to our list. And next up, we've got another super brick build, which happens to be right Right here along the edge of the street there are i believe seven super brick builds total in this area but as i already mentioned there's one of them we had actually completed in the story mode so uh, we do six of them in this video but that's a ton i don't remember most areas having this many but i guess we got lots of areas to do yet still but once you unlock that you get a gold brick as well as the traveler vehicle token so Make it some good ground here, peoples. Make it some good ground. Hopefully, you guys are nice and comfortable and uh, ready to go because you know how we do this around here, right? All right, next up is the Vehicle Robbery, which yields us a vehicle token for Athena as well as another gold brick. So this one's kind of uh, kind of a pain in the tuchus as uh, you got to pry this open and then accept the mission, and then you got to drive this bad boy all the way across the map to uh, undisclosed location. Well, technically it's not undisclosed. We have a flashing green arrow and sat-nav studs that lead us all the way there. And I'm going to go ahead and follow these bad boys. And, of course, we have our Sat Nav Stud Collector Red Brick on. So every time we get one of those, you can see we're actually getting paid. And I'm going to go ahead and make a bold prediction that, you know, we are roughly halfway through or getting pretty close to the halfway point of our Free Roam series. Um, as far as collectibles go, as far as areas go, I think we're still a little on the underside of the halfway point. But all in all, we're getting pretty close to that halfway point for collectibles. And I'm going to say that by the time we get done with our free roam, we'll probably have somewhere around 15 billion studs. That's right, 15 billion. I mean, look, I think right now I got 6.6 .6 billion. But I think by the time we finish this video, I'm at like 7.6 or 7.8 or something like that. And uh, I just feel like we're going to have 15 plus billion. Now, what we're going to do with all that studage, I don't know. And, you know, I still am a little disappointed that there isn't a way that we can't 
you know, utilize those studs, you know, for other LEGO games or maybe even purchase certain characters. Like, how cool would it be if we could actually buy a character in-game with, like, you go to the store. I don't know how it would work. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just making things too confusing, but, uh, you know, it would be cool if we could utilize some of this cash for, you know, a future adventure or something. It, it'd be nice, you know. Maybe you buy a character in this game and somehow it unlocks in another game or something. I just thought that would be cool, but we go ahead and collect that uh, Athena vehicle token as well as the gold brick, and we've got a long journey back to where we started. Not in Fresco, up in Paradise Sands. So we're going to go ahead and target the map right where we kind of started that mission, and we're going to skip a little bit of this drive time. We figure no, no sense in boring you with us driving around. So we're going to go right back to pretty much where we left off or where we got that vehicle robber mission. And look at that right down the little stairway there. We're going to find a green box that we can smash and rebuild into the old train station activation terminal, which is going to give us a good break and check another one of those boxes off of needed collectibles for this area. So, uh, yeah, we're good to go there. What's next? What you got for us, Brian? Well, we're going to go back to the beach. That's right. Right by the beach, man. We're going to find the next couple of items and it looks like oh another super brick build i was gonna say maybe we're almost to that uh that mission or item that uh, i was a little bit confused on we'll see it here in a second but first we're gonna build this super brick build which i believe this one is this the giant sandcastle or is it the other one there's a couple of cool super brick builds right here and this is oh this is the loop de loop oh that's right this is fun this always reminds me of like uh, you know, the Ringling Barnum Brothers Circus? Is that how you say it? It's, boy, it's been so long, and I think they, they're not even around anymore. I think they discontinued that. But I remember that uh, motorcycle ball that they would ride around in circles. I'm sure you've seen it in movies and other circuses and type things like that. But uh, it just always reminds me of that, riding upside down and all around. It was pretty crazy stuff. But in this case, we actually need a vehicle because we, in fact, need to make the loop de loop. And that's going to give us a car oh, vehicle token. My bad. I was starting to say character token there. It doesn't matter which vehicle you get, as I do believe it gives you the, the little turbo boost that most of the super jumps and stuff give you as well. But uh, go ahead and line it up and look at that. Yep, sure enough, it does. And as we round the top of that bad boy, we unlock the Sweetie. Could you imagine trying to ride the Sweetie on the loop-de-loop? -loop? I should have totally done it. I didn't, but I should have totally done it. Uh, tell me, would you think you could make the loop-de-loop -loop with the old Sweetie? I don't know if you can. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, it really reminds me of the old circus ball motorcycle riding right around circus. That'd be crazy. All right, next up, we've got another super brick build right here on the beach, and this is the super sand castle that I was talking about just a minute ago. Uh, there are actually three other miniature sand castles that we got to build up next, and that's the mission that I was a little confused on. But uh, we'll go ahead and build this up and collect our gold brick, and then of course we got to use our grappler to go ahead and rip down the door of this sand castle. That's right, we got to be that mean bully or the, the big brother or big sister who walks up to the little brother, or little sister, and says, "Oh, what a cute castle!" Smash, smash. Uh, not quite that bad. But we're gonna go ahead and rip down the door and take what's ours. That's right, we got the surfer character token in here. That's right, man, Mondo surfing time. And all right, next up, here is that quirky mission. Now, I have to be honest, I, I, I did my homework and I knew there were three sandcastles and as it turns out, there are three lifeguard stands. Each one of these lifeguard stands has the actual little base plate that's supposed to be under the castle. You'll see it here in a second, watch. Base plate on the ground, tan, see it? See it? Yeah, I know you can see it. And it disappears. And I'm like, what? I was not expecting that. So I trudge down the beach and go to the next one. And as it turns out, oh no, I'm not able to take that one out either. But as it turns out, there's a lonely surfboard here. And I blast it down and look at that. Booyah, kashow. But see, I was in such turmoil there. I wasn't really paying attention to what I took out. I was just blasting nearby things. I thought, God, is that, was that some... I don't know, was that another, uh, was a surfboard? So I'm like running around like, okay, here's some more surfboards. Meanwhile, Reese is sitting right next to me going, Dad, it was a single surfboard. And I'm like, was it? Well, are you sure? And he's like, yeah, I'm sure. And guess what? He's totally right. As it turns out, there are three single surfboards on the beach. Each one of them can be smashed and rebuilt into one of those miniature sandcastles. Once you get all three, it unlocks that character token for the beach dude. Lots of uh, Spicoli type characters. Anybody know? You know who Spicoli is? Anybody as old as me and get that reference? <laughs> 
That's right. Anyhow, uh, we're going to go ahead and find that next surfboard, which happens to be right in between the two staircases on the beach. I do give you a quick peek on the map, and as it turns out, it's right by that old steering wheel there, too, which is the vehicle calling point super brick build up there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and super brick build that castle real quick. And hey, as we're making our way to the next one, uh, if you haven't checked out patreon.com slash happythumbsgaming, we would certainly love it if you did. Find a tier that works for you and support us in a major way. we got a handful of you guys that are doing that now, and it's, it's helped us out tremendously check out our game breaks for more information on that as well meanwhile we're gonna go ahead and collect the old beach dude character token that's right we got all we got the we got beach dude surfer guy we got surfer girl coming up next look at that and this so happens to have three objectives too do you notice too how i try to keep all of these items that are scattered out all over the place that accumulate into one particular collectible or something you notice how i'm doing them all in a row I don't know if you guys like that or not. Sometimes, I mean, I could really uh, grab these as I run around the map and just label them and have quick links, but I feel like it's better to have them clumped together so you get all three of them at once and the token. Does that make sense to you guys? What, what do you guys think? If you guys got any feedback or any information or ideas for us, we always love hearing your feedback. Uh, and the next one, if you notice, it's right by that vehicle calling point, which is the super brick build that we got earlier. And the third and final one is down here on the boardwalk, a little bit closer to where we started this whole area, down in the southeast corner. And all right. Last but not least, blast away, and then we got to go find that character token, which it's going to show us where it is, but it's not always right by where we are. Now, in this particular case, look at that. It's over in kind of the bazaar area. I think that's what they're labeling it. It's kind of like a farmer's market or something is what it looks like, a Saturday's market, something, Saturday market, something like that. I don't know. Depending on where you live, they probably call it something different, but uh, it's a nice little area and courtyard. Look at this. It doesn't matter which vehicle you have. As long as you're in a vehicle, it will give you the super boost to go ahead and jump across. Now, I'm not sure if you need to be in the center of the jump or if it centers you while you do the jump. But if you notice, I go right up the middle and right across the top and collect that surfer girl. So, woo to the who. We are getting uh, we're getting pretty close to the halfway point. Not really. We're, 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 we're a long ways away. There's a couple of uh, missions up here or collectibles that actually have quite a bit of time-consuming feats that need to be either discovered or completed. That super, that secret shield piece, boy, that is a doozy. we got to go for a long walk and do a lot of chicken wing flying. And uh, we'll get to that in a minute, though. Next up, we're actually going to go over to the Orion Roller Coaster. And uh, right on the inside of it, as you go up the stairs, you're going to notice that there's a little fish icon. Simply switch on over into your fireman's outfit. And guess what? Wave that fishy around, and down comes the kitty cat. Looks just like our cat Emmett, if you haven't already heard me say that. And uh, again, check the game breaks out, as Emmett usually makes an appearance in uh, about every other game break. He likes to get in those super build or the speed builds and all that stuff that we do. So. Anyhow, next up, we're going to go ahead and do the Super Brick build, which happens to be Orion's, I think it's Rockets? I pushed the button really fast here, so we don't really get to see it. Yep, Orion's Rockets. Oh, look at that. I'm totally wrong. It was that one I pushed fast on. But check this out. We get to go ride the roller coaster now. Now, as it turns out, in theory, as you can see, the camera's pointing to the middle of this loop-de-loop. -loop. There is supposed to be a character token there. But we actually grabbed that on accident. We didn't mean to. It just kind of happened when we did the time trial earlier in this video. So uh, if you did the time trial, you may have actually gotten that token already. If not, simply hop on. Now, Reese was sitting next to me. His favorite color is blue. So he asked me to hop in the blue one. And I was like, yeah, let's do this. And then it started taking forever. And I was like, all right, dude, we got, we got to bump this up. This is taking too long. So I went ahead and hopped in the old green arena. And uh, look at that. Wee! That's pretty sweet. He throws his arms up. Uh, timing was a little off, but still pretty cool. It's a very uh, awesome representation of a roller coaster. And this makes me feel like, you know, maybe this is an asset that they could bring to LEGO Worlds. How cool would that be to have, like, roller coaster or theme park building abilities where you could make certain things like this and then go right around? And I, I always love roller coaster sims. And uh, I thought it would be cool to have a LEGO roller coaster sim, right? Again, feedback down below. Let me know what you think of that idea. I think it's a great idea, but I think all my ideas are great, though, for that matter. So who knows? Who knows? All right. We have officially completed the roundabout on the Orion's Rockets roller coaster, which would have given us a character token had we not already collected it in the time trial earlier. But next up, we've got another ride. Look at that. Bad. Oh, and speaking of, look at this. The green one that we were just on somehow is upside down now. It's pretty crazy. I thought about trying to ride on it to see how it worked. But that, that's too weird. It's literally... Oh, it flipped back up. 
craziness. But all right, it's hammer time right below the old Viking uh, right here that sways back and forth. There is a fuse box. It's on the left-hand side, as you can see. And once we activate that, a character token pops up on the high right side. Now, it wants you to ride the ride, but I was just kind of curious. What happens if I use my jetpack and fly out there? And look at that. I had enough juice to get that character token. So we got the Viking character token officially in our arsenal now. But, you know, I thought, hey, why not take a little break and ride the ride anyways, which certainly works out. All right, so we, so hey, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big kid. I like to have fun sometimes too. However, I found out recently that I can't ride those big rides anymore. Now that I'm old, my equilibrium is just not what it once was, and I get very nauseous. So uh, on rides, Reese has to have a buddy. I can't accompany him anymore. And hey, look at this. There's another fuse box right around the corner, right on the old docks here, I guess. I don't know what you want to call it. On the far right side of all the amusement stuff, fix that up and stand on the old switch. And guess what? It's going to give us, what? 53 drill spots? That is insane. Now, luckily for us, it gives us 90 whole seconds or a minute and 30 to go ahead and get them all. And my only advice here is that you simply get some sort of a game plan going here. Now, I gotta be honest, I only had to do this one time, so apparently my game plan worked. I just tried to draw kind of a line, and I was just methodical about how I went about this stuff. So you can see, I start off by going to the left, and I think maybe I can get the whole detour off to the left, which I do succeed in that. But when I return, there's kind of a Y in the road, and I have to go, I have to make another choice. Do I go left or right? And we'll go ahead and see what happens when I get there. But ultimately, I have to come back a little bit. And do a little bit of extra b -b 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 bouncing or d -d 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 drilling, but now you want to look at it. I, I guess if if you're if you're, uh, I always want to call him Emmett. Anybody else want to call Chase McCain in the construction suit Emmett? He just kind of reminds me uh, of him, and I don't mean my kitty Emmett. I mean like Emmett from the Lego Movie. Look at that though. We got all 53 of those guys down. D -d -d drill thrill is completed, and of course we'll collect that gold brick. Thank you very much. Now, next up, we're actually going to drop down below, and look at that. We're under all of the amusement stuffs, and right in the middle of all these rocks, we're going to find a boulder to smash. That's right. Let me smash. Look at that. We've got it, and uh, we've also got ourselves a gold brick. So, pretty sweet stuff. I have to be honest, too. I totally messed up when I was editing this video. Uh, we're about to go for a little bit of a journey here up to the observatory. And uh, so I'm gonna tell you a quick little story as we hop in this super slow poke car and make our way up there. Uh, we're actually gonna head out towards the observatory, but we're gonna go for a swim first and go out to that island and get a couple of things. But so when I was editing this, I did the pig first, right? As, as you know, we got a pig return. I forgot to label gold brick one on that. So I started with the time trial as gold brick one. So when I got all the way to the end, I was a gold brick off, and oh, I could not find it. It was so frustrating. I literally spent, you know, forever editing this. And when I got done, I think I had to spend like another 45 minutes, like, you know, penciling things out. Like, okay, this is gold brick. Okay, this one's. And I went through my list all the way before I realized, wait a minute, I didn't document the pig giving me a gold brick, which it totally does. So, whip, 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 whip. Totally my bad and, you know, my sad story or whatever, but uh, interesting, fun, fun little fact for you. Uh, we're officially out on the island. Luckily for us, there was no sharks to chomp us up. And once we're out here, we simply walk up and approach the super brick build and cash out by, well, building up Bluff Beard's Lighthouse. And look at that. We've actually got a pry point at the bottom. So go ahead and get your bar out and we'll go ahead and crowbar it open. And once we get up top, we actually find ourselves a character token for Captain Bluffbeard. Seems suiting as this is his lighthouse. Now, uh, next up, we're actually going to head up that road that we started on and go all the way up to that observatory. Now, I was thinking that there might be some sort of, like, chicken wing ring or something that would help me get up there or float across. Because I know swimming is its kind of a slow process. I, running is much faster. And, you know, unfortunately, no such luck. And what, wait, what am I doing? I dropped down below, and I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> – I should have edited this all out. Basically, uh, I was trying to alleviate a ton of swimming, and I thought for sure. I, 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 in my notes that I have here, um, I – as I, because, you know, I always go and check out the area before I record it. So I always go run around and make sure I have, like, you know, the routes all planned and figure out where the character token's going to spawn and things like that. So, you know, a lot of these videos take a ton of time. And in this particular one – I uh, I thought for sure there was a chicken wing ring up there, and there was not, so I was incorrect. 
And it uh, wasted a little bit of time. But hey, good news for you. There is quick links, and hopefully you skipped through some of that. Or maybe you don't need the secret shield piece, and you've already moved on, and you have no idea that I'm telling you this story. But anyhow, uh, we're going to make our way back up, like I said, and go up to that observatory. Highly recommend using the jetpack through this climbing of the rocks here, as some places are actually a little bit too steep, and you might slide back down. Now, i, I got to be honest. Once I get up to this observatory point, I had a hard time finding the chicken wing ring. And luckily for me, I'm pretty good at editing, so I think I spliced it together pretty sweetly. But I did fall down the mountain two times, all the way to the very bottom, and it's a long walk up to the top, especially when you're trying to record a video and you're getting frustrated with it. So, so my advice to you is I definitely wouldn't get uh, antsy once you get up here. Simply follow what I do and try to follow it as perfectly as possible because one false move and you might find yourself making a journey all the way back up here again. Now, if you're smart and you have to do the journey again, you'll find a vehicle that's a little bit faster than that slow poke I found. But uh, all right, here we are. We're up at the top of the observatory here. We're going to go ahead and look off to the right-hand side, and nope, that's not it. We're going to go a little bit further. Nope, that's not it. It's actually a little bit further back, and you can see there's a little bit of a, I don't know if I'd call it an island, but there's a little ledge that pops out here, and there you can see the chicken wing ring spot. So we'll go ahead and float out there to the glory point. I thought, oh, no, I wasn't going to, I thought I was going to slide down because that was pretty sleep, steep terrain there. But as it turns out, I got lucky, and I am at the super chicken glide point, or the chicken wing ring, as we like to call it. And this one actually gives us a whole bunch, and uh, you might notice too as you're flying across, there's it seems like you're not gonna make it. Like you're continuously kind of going down as you're, you know, each time you get a little boost, but you're still kind of overly going. Down. Eventually, it starts getting a little bit tighter. Those rings do that is, and it bumps you all the way up, and it should not be a problem. So hit, simply jump off, press and hold the jump button, and uh, get your float on. That's right, we're halfway there. Look at that, they're getting a little tighter and they're raising us up, they're raising the roof. And this was the last one. I was literally going, uh oh, we're not going to make it. But turns out it does. And hey, a little helpful tip for you, too try to go long ways with the landing point rather than short ways because you'll have an easier path to, to land rather than a short little stop that you can fall off on. But hey, look at that, we're dancing a jig. We got the second secret shield piece overall. Now, we do plan to do a video specifically for those shield pieces at some point, but if you're following along in our free roam, you probably won't need to use it as we're going to collect those as we go. Hey, speaking of as we go, there goes the green guy. That was, that was the one we rode around on that got upside down for a minute. Looks like it's all fixed up, though. All right, next up, we're actually going to go take on a character token, and this is another one of those uh, three-parters. We have three palm trees that are scattered throughout the area that need some painting. Now, uh, there are a couple of color gun swappers around, but uh, hopefully you've got the super color gun brick turned on because it certainly makes everything easier. And speaking of making things easier, we recommend you grab a vehicle too as there's a little bit of driving uh, that will help speed up the process. It's not a requirement, but it will help speed up the process. So uh, we're going to take a little trip on the pathway here. Look at this. We're about halfway down on the upper business area. And in the back corner, you can see that there is the second palm tree. Now, there are four other bushes right here in this little grassy area. We're going to come back for those and get those in a minute. Um, those are another collectible, and I didn't want to, like, overlap those as I was saying earlier. I like getting them all together and being complete rather than scattered all over and having to track down quick links and things like that. So uh, we have to go all the way through the bazaar or the Saturday market, as I was calling it earlier. And this one is all the way down. I guess it's a, a rock grotto down here. And just to the right of it, kind of tucked away out of sight, there she blows, the white palm tree in need of some color. So we'll go ahead and pull out the old brown one again. I'm not going to ask where that brown color originates from, but we'll go ahead and paint that bad boy up. Jump for joy. And it, as it turns out, look at that. The character token is just right across the way from us. So... Uh, depending on which order you grab those in, you might have a little bit of a journey to get the token, but in our case, it's right here. So uh, hop in the vehicle, and we're going to grab it, and then we're actually going to double back to that little grassy area where those four bushes were that needed coloring. So yeah, buddy, Troublemaker Tom. We got him in the bag. Pretty sure that's what my dad's nickname was when he was younger, Troublemaker Tom. I don't know if that's true or not, but it sounds appropriate. All right, oh, I lied. Before going back to that little courtyard where the four flowers are, we're actually going to jump into this grotto area. And look at that. They stuffed a vehicle token in there. It's the spirit. And right next to it, there happens to be a silver rock. Doesn't even need a pickaxe. Simply smash it, 
and collect the character token for Blubs? I'm not sure who Blubs is, but he doesn't sound like somebody I would spend much time on, that's for sure. Anyhow, we're going to hop in our vehicle, and we're going to go ahead and do a super jump, because it's fun. And we're heading back to that little courtyard that I keep referencing with all of those four flowers in it. And, yeah, look at that. We're going to get the Hula Dancer character token for getting all four of these. Now, normally I would put one of four, two of four, three of four, four, but they're all right here. No need to do that. Simply get all four of these bad boys. Hopefully they're all appearing for you. I know that a couple of you guys have reported some weird stuff in this game, and I'm hoping that patches or maybe some due diligence of figuring out what you missed or something. Hopefully it'll all work out for everybody because there's nothing more that I hate hearing than somebody got 99.8% like and they can't complete the game. And as we pick up the Hula Dancer, we also give our vehicle there the old Happy Thumbs gaming treatment, as you can see. Uh, too bad the, the tires didn't stay black. That would have been cool, a yellow and black vehicle. But uh, all right, next up we got some, what are these things called again? Flamingos? That's such a weird name. And, and to be honest with you, I thought a flamingo was like a fictional bird, like a cartoon, but it turns out they're real. I know you're probably laughing at me going, what a noob, you thought they were fake. No, they're real and they're, they're, they're pretty exotic and not locally found, not, not around Oregon anyways. And, uh, but here you can see we've got all three of them painted. Two of them are right by the front door, and that's where the character token happens to be for us too. So we'll pick up Rudolph P uh, Pianola. I don't piano well. I don't know how to say that, but uh, we got him. He's officially ours, and we're gonna go right to the next door uh, building here. And look at this on the far right side. There is a blue pipe. We can go ahead and climb up. Once we get up top, we're actually gonna find ourselves a silver statue to destroy. And if you do not have the unlimited dynamite red brick turned on right across the street from us, over under the Orion roller coaster, there is a dispenser for dynamite. So, I got you covered, even though I don't show you, at least you know, right across the street, easy access, and uh, shouldn't be too hard to get back up. Now, I fall down on accident, I climb back up thinking I'm going to get some of them studs and them bricks, but <laughs> I think I get one of the bricks. Oh, look at that. Little bit slow, Brian, a little bit slow. All right, we're going to double back over here, and we're going to start making our way along the back side of these buildings. So, there's a couple of buildings that have some character tokens just floating around on the awnings, and a couple of other things floating around here, too. So, we're going to take care of that stuff right now. And this first one is easy to find. It's actually on the lower left building of the upper business area. And we're gonna go ahead and target that grapple point and grapple our way up. And of course, you probably could hop on the old side railing there and use the jetpack to get up there too. But hey, we'll go ahead and grab the doorman. Look, he had a little Bobby Brown mic on too. I don't know who he was talking to. Probably the rest of the people, the employees or whatever, but pretty cool. All right, right around the corner on that same building in the back corner, we're going to find a barbecue that's out of control. So go ahead and spray her down, and look at that. We have officially put it out and collected another gold brick. And let's see, what do we got next? Let's see here. We, oh, we got another character token on the awning over here. This one requires a little bit of da -da 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 drilling. So we'll switch on over to our construction version. And that's right, we'll get our drill on and then ride the whole water spout up top you know i gotta i gotta imagine there's quite a high water bill for this town i mean we're going around town and just springing leaks everywhere it seems like an excessive amount of wasting water does it not i don't know we might have to have a talk with tt games about this or wb but uh we got rodney baxter officially in our arsenal now and we can move on to the next character token which happens to be danielle crossley now this one is kind of a pain in the tuchus. Not really, but uh, we're going to go... Uh, in fact, we're going to come back to this upper walkway area as there is a character token that appears there once we complete some stuff here in a minute, but uh, that's a whole other thing. The next one is on the awning as well, and this one, I only say this one's a pain because it's kind of that funny angle situation again where I run into with this water sprayer. Now, I run into this with LEGO Dimensions and other games too. I think Harry Potter was kind of a pain as well. I just I don't get along with this water filling situation it just doesn't ever seem to work for me there's always a sweet spot you gotta hit and i can't ever seem to find it and once i do i think oh there it is and i move no but look at that i finally got it the water is a spouting and we are riding it up top and guess what danielle crosley is officially ours and let's see what's next we'll take a quick peek at the map and oh look at that we we're playing with an axe i highly recommend not playing with axes and, ooh, this one, that's right. Okay, so there's 
three jukeboxes that need to be built up. Now, during the story, we actually make our way up Honey Hotel, as I was just taking a peek up there, and that's how we actually are supposed to get on this rooftop here. But as you can see, I found a little cheat. As long as you have the jetpack, you should be able to jump up on that little building there. It's like, like a telephone booth or something, and then you should be able to jump on to the lower rooftop and get up here. So there's the first jukebox. It's actually inside that room, and more than likely, you got it taken care of in the story mode. If not, smash the box, Rebuild the pieces and get that jukebox up in that upper rooftop area. Next up, drop down to the lower rooftop, kind of hidden in between these two buildings. And I'm showing you a little, little cheat here, too. If you accidentally fall off the top, you can certainly get right back up there. Or maybe you already got that one on story and you knew that and you didn't want to have to go up top. You can just simply skip that and hop right up on the ledge and get that second one. Now, the third one is actually all the way at the end of these buildings in the middle here. And it's wrapped around the far corner. So kind of on the northernest side, the, the northernest. Is that even a word? Uh, the northernmost side of the building, and it's hiding under this awning with two super bricks right above it. So they're just the little guys. But hey, little guys go a long way when you get a 2x multiplier, right? All right, there we go. Three of three. And hey, remember a minute ago when I told you we were going to return to that little walkway for a character token? There it is, and it happens to be the Morocco Man. And uh, before rolling out, though, you probably want to grab these super bricks. We were getting a little low. We were under under 400,000, which we haven't seen in quite a while. But this was a pretty heavy super brick building level. And uh, I don't think all of them are going to be that way. I, I don't know. Well, I, obviously, I haven't played them all yet, so we'll have to wait and see. But... All right, back over to this upper walkway area here. I was kind of worried when I first saw it spawn there because I wasn't sure we'd get up there. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, I've already been up there. So turns out it's right in the middle, just to the left of the old water fountain there. Booyah, kasho. So you can get your maraca on now. Uh, I don't know how fun that is, but it might be fun. Yeah, all right. Now, next up, we got a coffee break. You probably saw this guy. In fact, I've actually ran by it a couple times, not really intentionally. Uh, you know, I have a route. I always plan a route before I start these videos. And I wasn't going to get this one early, even though a lot of collectibles were kind of right around it. And I probably should have just grabbed it earlier. But as it turns out, like, I really, I was really confident. Like, I always plan my route, but I never know how it's going to work out until I'm done. And this one, I think this one worked out rather nicely. And uh, coffee break complete. And gold brick, thank you very much. And next up, we're actually going to double back and go to the south part. And uh, look at that. In between these two buildings, right next to where the metro or the train station is, there is an ATM right there up against the building. So uh, also another one of those collectibles we could have grabbed earlier. And who knows? Maybe you already grabbed this one and you're ready to go to the next. And, of course, I'm going to remind you now we have quick links down below. So if you're way ahead of us or you already got all this stuff, you just need one or two items, I highly recommend using those quick links to find what you need. And, and hey, if you're only missing one item and you've watched the video once or twice and you're like, man, there's got to be a collectible missing from this video, I promise you there's not. I show you at the beginning what we start with. I show you at the end what we finish with. And I always double check to make sure my numbers are right, too. And uh, so, yeah, use the quick links to go ahead and basically check off and make sure you've gotten everything. Next up, we've got some flowers to water. And it makes sense because this is a weird place for a flower pot to be. I can't imagine it gets much rain tucked in between these two really tall buildings. Uh, and I can't imagine it gets much traffic on foot because this doesn't look like a very... Uh, inhabitable area for you know recreation or tourism so uh we're gonna go ahead and pull out that suspecting unsuspecting watering can like hey man i don't know where you're putting that but uh we'll just leave that alone for now and look at that we're gonna push some little daisies watch them grow up and booyah kashow that's right a little little ween reference for you there i, I probably yeah. slaughtered that it's been 15 years since I listened to that song. And I've been saying it like in every video, so I probably should pull that song up and listen to it to make sure that I'm saying it right. Some of you ween fans out there are probably like, oh, he's slaughtering it. Some of you are like, ween? What's a ween? <laughs> Anyhow, uh, next up, we actually have, uh, we're going to go back to the old Honey Hotel. If you've completed the story, which we highly recommend you do before trying to complete free play or free roam, you might see some of this stuff and recognize it. But uh, we're going to go up. There's actually a little uh, scaffolding that gets us up to a lower ledge. Then we can ride the old blue pipe up to the next level. And as it turns out, there's a color gun swapper in here. I'm not sure what that is pertinent to but we're gonna ride this mechanical bee which hey again this mechanical bee was created in the story mode and i wanted to show you real quick too there is an elevator here that'll take you to 
kind of a third floor, maybe it's fourth, I guess I wasn't counting, but it's the next level up, and there's a chicken wing ring here that we're going to need to utilize in a minute, but we're not ready for that yet. We're actually going to want to go all the way to the very top of the Honey Hotel, which requires us to drop back down to this lower workout area, and then use the jetpack spot over here. And look at that, on the Honey Hotel sign, there are a bunch of handhelds that allow us to get all the way to the very tippy tippy top, and guess what's up here? We got a district conquered, and we also got the free run token we can go ahead and grab. You can see I was kind of contemplating, should I grab the token first or should I grab the district first? But I go ahead and I mark my territory. That's right, I plant my flag and claim my zone, and now it's mine. No, I'm just kidding. I'll share it with you. You can come visit every once in a while. We got a, another gold brick for doing that, and we're going to go ahead and unlock the free roam. Or free run! Free roam. We're already in free roam. Uh, but this one, so this one actually unlocks right below us, kind of right by the scaffolding where we started our journey to get to the top of the hotel. And we're actually going to drop right down there and take care of this right now. And it simply just requires us to get back up to the top of the Honey Hotel. And there's only three checkpoints, too, which was really nice. A lot of these free runs, uh, some of them can be kind of long and tedious. But, and I won't lie, I had to do this one a couple of times. I'm like tooting my horn like it was so easy. But yes, I actually had to do this three times. And it was really just user error. Um, I had a hard time with the way it starts. The camera threw me way off. So my first time, I didn't even get to the ladder until there was like 10 seconds left. And although I was, you know, making some good ground and catching up, it just wasn't quite enough. You notice there's a bunch of studs missing there that were there a minute ago. And I told you, I told you, I'm honest. I, if I make a mistake, I tell you guys. And I usually tell you because sometimes some of these situations can be frustrating. And sometimes the way I edit things, it makes it look like it was super easy. And it's not always the case. So uh, I always tell you guys, you know, in hopes to build up a little confidence that, you know, I struggle from time to time too. I know a lot of you guys think I'm like, perfect but that's not the case at all i promise you uh i make mistakes all the time playing these games and i have to revert my saves and do stuff all over it's yeah it, it happens trust me but look at that free run is complete third time was the charm and we get poolside frank i don't know what that means It'll probably got some swim trunks on or something he's probably hanging out and uh, all right, so we got to go back up. And well, technically, we don't have to go back up. But I figured since we're here, we'll go ahead and we'll use the old chicken wing ring up there to get back up. Now, keep in mind, I already showed you kind of a shortcut down below, kind of north from where we're standing right now. There's a little telephone booth of some sort that you can hop onto. And then, of course, get onto the lower ledge of the next building that the chicken wing ring takes us to. So uh, once you get up past the mechanical bee, go ahead and hop into the elevator area. Of course, you could go all the way to the top and drop back down, but the elevators, it's a little fun. You get a little elevator music, a little dance time, and look at that. We're going to switch on over to the chicka. Oh, I almost watched that step. It's a doozy. I almost fell off. That would have been terrible. But, uh, okay, we got that chicken wing ring activated, and we're just gliding down to that lower area. Now, again, there is a spot. If you, if you mess this up, somehow you fall, you don't make it, whatever it is, right down there, right in front of us, you can see there's that boxy kind of rectangle-ish building, and uh, now we can't see it. But anyways, it's right below us. Hop up on that with the old jetpack, and, of course, you can make your way up onto this building and keep on keeping on now most of what we have left for the collectibles is actually going to be on the rooftop so we actually have to make this journey at least two times to get across here because there's right up here we get up to this next one and we actually have to drop off of the roof and go chase a bad guy but that's okay though we're good at chasing bad guys well, not really. I had to do this one over again, too. But that's beside the point. We're going to go ahead and approach the old scan point. And, of course, we're going to listen. We're going to use our ears to see if we can find any baddies up to no good. Hello. And look at that. Hi. Nope. First time is not a charm. Second time works out, though. And it turns yeah. out there's some guys that are wanting to stir up a little bit of breakfast. mayhem yeah. over under like the old... Uh, let's see. Where is he, Sam? It's the uh, under the we're boardwalk. Gang, well, they call it something else, Trouble don't they? Is our middle name. Call it something else. Mine's Anyways, very. we're going to go ahead oh. and... Under the pier. That's right. And that's what it is. It's totally a pier, boardwalk, whatever you want to call it. But We're going to go ahead and take care as per use. There's going to be five bad guys waiting for us, and we need to take them all down. The only problem is we need to get to that location before the timer runs out and I look I make a couple of mistakes getting there I get hung up a little bit right there you can see I burned a few seconds quite a few actually and I get stuck on the old tight pants tight rope and then I, you know I fall in the, and I grab a car and it happens to be like the slowest car ever I probably could have done a handstand and walked there faster than this moped gets me there but the good news is I got some pizza and oh no I take that back there's 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 jet on it I got turbo boost but still, look at this. I, I talk about cutting it close. I ram into a palm tree. 
Ah, terrible. Look at this. Three, two, one. Oh, I didn't even have a full second left, but I made it. And those bad guys are out. We're going to go ahead and drop down there and eradicate them. Or cuff and stuff, as we like to say. Knock them down and take them. I don't know. I was going to say knock them down, take them down. That's the same thing. But uh, all right. One of five, two of five. I was a little bit delayed. And, and oh, so, okay. We've been trying to figure out, some of you guys have been commenting with me and trying to figure out why I can't ever just like catch this final guy. Like I always have a hard time cuffing him. Like I can knock him down, I can beat him up, but I can't ever like finish him off. I think I finally figured it out. I think the game wants me to tackle him and arrest him rather than knock him down and arrest him. So uh, if you watch here as I turn him a little pasty white there, he looks kind of like me in the summertime before I get my summer bot action going. But uh, you can see I I'm just struggling big time and everything I'm trying, nothing's working. And I eventually see right about here, I think, I see the icon pops up and I get him. Woo! All right, so he's down and out. And now we officially got the gangs arrested. Mission complete, and we'll collect our ghoul brick. And guess what we get to do now? We get to go back up onto them rooftops again. So hop in a vehicle to help speed up the process to get back to our, our little telephone booth that we're going to use to kind of give us a shortcut. But hey, I will say be careful because I don't think that thing respawns, and I'm pretty sure you can knock it down. So there's a good chance that maybe you've already knocked that down, and maybe you can't even get up onto that. So you might have to go to Honey's Hotel. And look at me. I come in sideways, and I almost bust that thing down. And that's why I make a point to, like, be careful when you get close to it. Because the last thing you want to do is have to go to the top of Honey Hotel every single time that you have to get up onto this rooftop. Because, I, like I said, we have to do it at least two times. This being the second time. Um, I think we might have to do it three times. We'll have to see. I know we got a flower water coming up. And then we got a red brick that's coming up. Wait, I think we got, uh, there's one more. We'll see. We'll see. All right, and I was a little, a little confused. Like, I'm pretty sure in the story mode, I ripped open all these doors, but I thought, you know, maybe there's a super brick or two in there. So, and you might do the same, you know, assuming you've already been here for story mode, it is possible that you might have missed a super brick or two. And, you know, depending on how, uh, you know, I, we've, we've saved a lot of our super bricks and, and we've got, you know, a multiplier. We got the attract the bricks on as well that we got uh, from completing the story. I know, not from completing the story. It was another red brick that we got. Um, but anyhow, we've got all sorts of things going in our favor, and uh, we've been saving all of our stuff. I know a lot of you guys like to go blow your cash as soon as you get it. I'm not that way. I always save all my moolah until I'm ready to do all my purchasing. And I try to do all my purchasing at once unless I need a specific, you know, uh, character or, you know, vehicle or something like that. But All right, so as it turns out, Flowers Watered is a long ways down the roofs here. It's like on the fifth or sixth roof. We have to use this catapult and get our woohoo on to go from one rooftop to the other. And we do that here in a second. And, and, you know, this one's always a little bit scary because you smack right into the wall and then you fall. You, like, slide down. Oh, no, it's the next one. It's the next one. My bad. We watered the flowers first, and then we do the next one where we smack into the wall. And But actually, you know what? We have to come back up onto the rooftop another time because we have another vehicle robber situation we got a vehicle robber arrested coming up so flowers are officially watered as i'm talking about another thing and uh, we're gonna go to the other side of this rooftop here we're not gonna use the catapult to launch ourselves not yet anyways and inside there there's also a teleporter which i gotta be honest i forget where that goes to you guys probably know but uh over here on the far left side up on this upper tier it's kind of easy to miss there's going to be another scan point so hop on up there pull out your police edition of chase mccain and Go ahead, and this time we're going to look through the binox and see if we can find a bad guy up to no good. And look at that. He doesn't seem to be doing anything bad, but he immediately lights up red. And we scan him, and he's successfully the bad guy. And look at that. He hops in a car that wasn't there a second ago. We get the chopper that comes in and drops our super fast, you know, police car. And we'll hop in that bad boy. And guess what? Luckily for us, I had to do this one a couple of times. The first time, that guy goes straight through the tunnel, and he was out. There was no chance I was catching him. Even with the turbo blowing, no chance. In this case... I get a little bit of a head start on him. He smashes into a wall. I get one shot on him. But then I kind of struggle to catch up to him and get him again. Eventually, I get him. And we'll go ahead and collect that vehicle token and the gold brick for it as well. And what is it? The Luska? I'm not sure what kind of a vehicle that ends up being. But uh, we'll take it. We, got, we want them all. We, we're greedy like that. So uh, look at me. I get stuck on the wrong side of the road. But luckily for me, he gets a little held up and gridlocked there too. I give him the old bumper rooney And he takes off. And I think it's right here where I get him pinned. I do the old power break, and look at that. He slams right into me, and he says, out of my way, but I'm on his tail, and he ain't getting away from me. No siree. Go ahead and tackle him down. Well, 
See, look at that. I was able to arrest him by using my grappler and then arresting him. See, it's just, it's inconsistent. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But hey, we'll take that token and that gold brick. And of course, we are now a long ways away from home again. So we're going to go ahead and pop up the map and show you where we are and show you where we're going. In fact, we're actually going to go right to that little spot where our telephone booth is and hop up on there so we can get our cheat sheet up onto the rooftop scan so we can avoid that honey hotel. Not that we don't want to see Frank. Frank's an awesome guy and all that. But And this red brick, this one's kind of funny. This one's for the ringtone for gas. Now, at first, I wasn't really thinking like gas, like flatulence or farts. But that's totally what it is. It's totally a toot red brick, and we're on our way to get it. Surprisingly, I have not turned on this red brick yet, so I don't know what kind of sounds we're dealing with here, but I would imagine they're probably pretty comical. I noticed there's a belch ringtone one, too, that it kind of came stock with the when you first got the game and you open it up. It's one of the first red bricks that you can activate. Uh, I, I haven't used that one yet. I just, you know, I, the phone doesn't ring a lot. You know, my phone's pretty silent. And uh, so, and, and I mean that in real life and in the game. You know, most of the missions are already completed, so... My phone doesn't ring at all at this point, and so I don't know how that'll work. Maybe you can actually get the phone to ring. Maybe you can hear the ringtone anyway. But if we can, I'll try them out one of these days. Maybe I'll do a short video on some of the ringtone sounds or something. Might be fun. Might not be. There we go, smashing into the wall. We're going to go ahead and use that handheld to shimmy all the way across. That's right. Why no shimmy, Jimmy? We actually need to go into that door there, but I got a little uh, quick on the draw, and I ran across the wall spot there, and I go right on back and in through that doorway, which takes us up to the top of the Herbert Hotel. And, yeah, let's see here. we got to go around the front side. There's a little shimmy point. We'll get our tiptoe on. Oh, actually, we're going to fly around it. We're cool like that. And look at that. The red brick's just sitting there waiting for us. So we'll go ahead and collect it. And then look at that. Last but not least, sitting right next to us, is going to be that final collectible that we need to do, which happens to be the alien captured. So, yeah, buddy. We'll go ahead and space crate, space crate. And if you might have noticed, too, that I didn't have to solve a puzzle or anything. It's because I have the... Uh, space Crate Red Brick. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, Super Space Crate Red Brick, I think is what it's called. Anyhow, it helps me get through all that stuff so I don't look like a noob. And he's off and running. I got the grappler out. And boom, cuffed. He is officially booked. And look at that. We've got ourselves gold brick. And holy cannoli. We have finished off what I believe is the largest collectible area in Free Roam. I don't know that for sure yet, but I'm hoping it is because this was crazy. 43 total collectibles and uh look at that we got them all we got the old echo effect you want you ready for the echo effect here we go Ele oh 17 17 7 7 1 1 26 26 oh and look at that there's the final totals of all the stuff we got but that's gonna wrap it up for lego city undercover paradise sands free roam hopefully you guys found this video awesome entertaining and maybe helpful as well if all three of them worked out that's a bonus for us and uh yeah if you guys have any questions or anything like that head on over to any of our social pages which can be found down below in the video description as well as our website happythumbsgaming.com if you got a couple extra seconds check out this thumb you must see and if you have not already please click that subscribe button as it helps us out tremendously as for me, that's going to do it for now. I got plenty of more stuff on the way, so until next time, see